<laughs> Thank you for take the, taking the time to watch my talk. I'm Takano Isuzuki. Now I'm presenting from Japan. I'm very happy to be able to talk at PyCon Taiwan 2020. My talk title is Decade of PyCon JP. How we spread the Python community in Japan. Today, I will talk about the 10 year history of PyCon JP and how we organize the conference at its growth since it was launched. And I will talk about the various activities that are spreading Python communities in Japan. At last, I will talk about what we are going to do in the future. Before my talk, I'd be happy to take pictures and share them and give you feedback on Twitter or Discord or something. Hashtag is Python Taiwan. And this slide available on GitHub, github.com slash takanoi slash slides. And I've already shared these slides on Twitter and Discord as we talk. Please check Twitter. If you have any questions, please post them on Slider. And we please try and write and write try and write something on Slider. I'm checking the sliders. Please try. And I I will change my screen settings in the uh, Okay. Okay. Uh, before the main topic, I will introduce myself. Uh, my name is Takanori Suzuki. My Twitter is Takanori. Please follow me. I'm vice chairperson of PyCon JP Association, and I'm director of Py Oh, I'm director of B Plus Inc. I'm also active in several Python related communities: Python Bootcamp, Python Mini Hackathon, and Python Bouldering Club. <laughs> Last year, I was trying to talk or poster at Python conferences around the world, which I call the PyCon Tour. I presented at nine conferences on the tour, mostly in, mostly in Asia. In the tour, I presented talk about Slackbot at PyCon Taiwan 2019. Did you see me? It was a very fun and comfortable time for me because I really enjoyed the conference and be uh, every day with my friends from Japan, Taiwan, and Asia. Today, I'm happy to talk at PyCon Taiwan 2020, but I'd like to visit China because I really want to drink Taiwanese craft beer with my friends. Now, let's get back to the main topic. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about the history of PyCon JP. So, uh, the story goes back to 2010. In 2010, Singapore hosted the first PyCon APAC. APAC means Asia Pacific. And first of PyCon APAC, uh, four Pythonistas attended the conference from Japan. Yasushi Masuda, Manabu Terada, Ian Lewis, and Iqbal Abdullah. They met for the first time in PyCon APAC, and they enjoyed the first PyCon. They met uh, when they came back to Japan from PyCon APAC 2010. They think 
We'd like to hold PyCon in Japan. In January 2011, we held the first PyCon in Japan. We named the event PyCon Mini JP. We added the word mini to indicate, indicate it was a trial event for us. It was a small event with one day, seven talks, four sponsors, 1,060, 1,036 participants. Then the event was success. This is PyCon Mini JP website in 2011. It's so simple. And this is uh, the venue and the audience of PyCon Mini JP. PyCon Mini JP was a success. So we hold PyCon JP every year since 2011. There is English talks and Japanese talks. In 2013, we held PyCon APAC in Tokyo. It was first PyCon APAC to be held outside of Singapore. This is a group photo from PyCon APAC 2013. A lot of participants from overseas. Uh, since 2013, we've held PyCon APAC on a rotating basis across Asia. Uh, Japan and next Taiwan and Korea Malaysia, Singapore, and the Philippines. This year's PyCon APAC will be held in Malaysia, but online only. Please join us. Next, let's talk about the growth of PyCon JP. This chart is number of participants in our events. The number of participants are growing for 10 years. Currently, about 1,000 people are attending in our event. And conference days, number of talks, and sponsors are increasing as well. One day to four days, seven talks to 47 talks, four sponsors to 43 sponsors, as I've explained, PyCon JP has grown. I'm going to talk about how we organized and managed the PyCon JP event. Organizer team uses a variety of communication tools. Slack as a chat. We our main communication tool is Slack and Jira for issue management, uh, similar to GitHub issues and Asana or Trello or something. And Google Drive for file sharing and spreadsheet and documents and slides. GitHub for source code management. For our some tools, bot or reporting or something and Google, Google Calendar for calendar management, our uh, internal event and public events. G Suite, we use uh, G Suite for non-profits for PyCon JP domain and PyCon JP domain email. And the Compass is a event management and ticket selling. By the way, in 2013, we have established a general incorporated association. The name is PyCon JP Association. The purpose of association is to manage money and contract for PyCon JP event. It's run by five or six board members. I have been a board member since 2013 and now I'm a vice chairperson. And I was the chairperson of PyCon JP event from 2014 to 2016. And the event team and the association are different organizations. 
For example, in 2014, I was the chair of PyCon JP event team, and I was a board member of PyCon JP association. Then, I changed event organizing and as a chair of the PyCon JP event team. The reason for the change was the size of event and the number of staff because PyCon JP has grown. I changed PyCon JP event team to more open from 2014. The purpose is to get more people interested in the event team and to provide a reference for other technical events. I opened every staff meetings to, to make it easier for new staff to join. The event was open to guest participation, participation. and some people went from guests to new staff. And we regularly publish our activities on the blog to get interested in event management to our part to PyCon JP participants. We created an operation manual and made it reusable. As a result, I think we've been able to renew the event team every year. This is a manual trans this is a PyCon JP manual translated by Google Translate. For example, uh, staff activity information and the team management information and several teams information, secretary, secretary to team and media team and venue team or something and others. Okay, then I'll share some of our other activities. First is PyCon Mini. In 2015, small PyCon Minis in the region were held in Sapporo and Hiroshima. Sapporo is north of, north of Japan, and Hiroshima is west of Japan. PyCon JP shared operating know-how and supported public relations, many, many, and people to local organizers for Mini PyCons. And we also provided subdomain of PyCon JP for PyCon Mini website. For example, sapporo.pycon.jp and hiroshima.pycon.jp. And this is a list of PyCon Mini events in Japan. It has been held 13 times in several cities. And PyCon Kyushu, Kyushu is the southwest area of Japan. And Paiko Kyushu is held all over Kyushu area, Fukuoka, Okinawa, and Kumamoto. But this is Kumamoto cancelled. This is map of Paiko mini event. North of Sapporo, and Shizuoka, Osaka, Hiroshima, and Kyushu area. Next activity is Python Bootcamp. In 2016, PyCon JP Association launched Python Bootcamp. The event is half day hands on for beginners. We teach an introduction to Python programming for beginners. The purpose of the event is to spread Python around Japan. I or another instructor visit all over Japan to teach Python and connect with locals and help to run a local community. We hold in cooperation with local staffs and local teaching assistants in Python Bootcamp, every Python Bootcamp. This is basic timetable. From the basic or Python programming, for example, the data, data types and file I.O. to web scraping in the hands-on. 
half in half day. After the event, we go to the party with the local staff that are participants. It is a fun time for me. <laughs> this picture shows a Python boot camp. I lecture the front of I lecture in front of screen and some TAs support participants. This is text book translated by Google Translate, uh, Python Bootcamp text. Uh, getting started with Python and Python data types. Basic, basic data type means uh, in, int, uh, str, or something, and collection data types, blah, blah, blah. And we created Python Bootcamp t shirts. This t-shirt is by the cap t-shirts. And we are giving t-shirts to people who have contributed twice as a staff or TA. TA means teaching assistant. A lot of people contributed to Python Bootcamp events. And now 32 people have these t-shirts. Result in numbers of Python Bootcamp. We hold 41 times in four years with 970 participants in these events. And this is map of Python Bootcamp. We held Python Bootcamp in 34 prefectures, the rest, uh, the rest are 30 prefectures. We want to go west 30 prefectures. And several ro local communities have been launched in the wake of Python Bootcamp. For example, uh, Chingenpai in Yamanashi, Shonanpai in Kanagawa, and Shizuoka Pai, uh, so, so, sorry, Unagi Pai in Shizuoka, and Sugoi Hiroshima, Great Hiroshima in Hiroshima, and Uno Pai in Kagawa. Uh, Uno Nudo is a uh, soul food. Uh, of Kagawa, pre, Kagawa people. Do you know Udon Nudo? Okay. And PyCon JP has more people coming from local area uh, as a PyCon, Python Bootcamp TA and the Python Bootcamp staff. This photo was taken at the poster session of PyCon JP 2019. It was an amazing time for me. So many people gathered with from from uh, from local area. Okay, in 2019, we started a new activity, Python Bootcamp Caravan. Uh, why we launched the Python Bootcamp Caravan? No candidacy from new prefecture for Python Bootcamp. Conversely, let's visit local region from Tokyo. Then we decided to have a PyCon JP booth at the OSC. OSC is an open source event held uh, all over Japan. Uh, in Taiwan, similar the COSCAP is uh, similar, COSCAP and OSC is similar. In 2019, we had a booth at six locations. We introduced PyCon JP activities, handed out Python stickers at the booth, and gave a talk about Python syntax. This photo is a Python PyCon JP booth at Open Source Conference. And regional meetup. Uh, the purpose of regional meetup is stronger relationship with local communities. Okay, the event held uh, at PyCon JP 2019 with local community members. We discussed the sharing of ideas and worries that local communities have. About 30 people gathered from all over Japan for the meetup. And we discussed about worries and uh, issues. Then we hold online regional meetup. About 50 people from all over Japan participate in the in the meetup, 
We've just started the meetup, so we are going to continue to help it. Summary of this talk. We have spread Python throughout Japan with various activities. I think it's important to be face-to-face -face communication. First, we go to meet local people, and the reunion makes the relationship stronger in Taiko JP or as other, other event. In the future, we hope to hold Python JP outside of Tokyo, and we hope to hold Python Bootcamp in all participants. Ah, oh, sorry, all part, all prefectures, and hold Python Mini in more cities. But many things are going to change with COVID-19. Several countries switched to online event. This year's US PyCon, Euro PyCon, PyCon APAC, Korea, Japan. However, I wonder what the difference would be if we held online events in different countries. I think only time zone. Online easy to attend from a foreign country like me. But online makes me feel less like I attended PyCon Taiwan in Thailand because there is no Taiwanese food, no Taiwanese beer, no night markets, no pineapple cake. I like to meet the local participants offline and let's go have a beer together. I hope. This year, we launched new event, Python Charity Talks in Japan. The event is online donation event. The goal of the event is donate to PSF. PSF is Python Software Foundation. Do you know PSF? Because PSF is due to the financial impact of the cancellation of PyCon US. PyCon JP has received money support from PSF in the past. The event is one, our way of giving back to PSF. This was our first online event. I think a lot of people attended and enjoyed it. And we had a lot of sponsors, uh, sponsor companies, communities, and people. As a result, 1.4 million yen was raised, about 388 New Taiwan I think the event was a huge success. If you're interested, watch the video for Python Charity Talks in Japan, but Japanese only. Finally, I talk briefly about PyCon JP 2020. PyCon JP 2020 was the first online annual event for us. There were two keynotes and five tracks. I enjoyed the event, and I think the participants probably enjoyed it. But someday we hope to be able to help PyCon JP on site. Six minutes. Oh, really? Okay. We can hold online events and we can enjoy online events too. But there is no food, no beer, no encounter zero. I hope to see you in real across the country someday, somewhere. Thank you for your attention to my talk. I hope something in this talk will help you. If you have any questions, please post them on Slido or Python Taiwan Discord, our free track. And if you have any ideas, please let me know. Yeah, thank you. Very amazing. Thank you. So see you at the next PyCon Taiwan or some PyCon. Yeah, uh, sorry, Suzuki. Since we and are delayed, I'm going to Thai food Tokyo tonight for Taiwanese craft beer. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we can have five more minutes for Q and A time. So, uh, anyone has question? Oops. Okay. Uh. I checked the Q&A. No, sorry. Is it Japanese?
Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Hello, can you I hear me? I can't hear. So, uh, I can't. Can't. I can't. I can. I can read the uh, question on the on the slide. Is it okay? I can read. I can't hear the audience <laughs> voice. Uh, can you hear me right now? Ah, right now, but looping. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. I want. I, I can want, hear you. I, I want to uh, ask about the engineer culture in the Japan. How mm -hmm. they treat your to train the coding engineer like in us or um, is Japanese company would like to hire the foreigner foreigner engineer just like us even we can not uh, talk in Japanese or in in a pro English. Thank you. Okay, uh, I think the several company, uh, you question is uh, uh, Japanese company hired, will hire the foreigner in 40, 40 people and, and the foreign people can talk the Japanese or English. Correct? もし、もしもしかしたらえっと、外国人のエンジニアをえ、そ、日本で働きたい時は、えっと、どのサイトとかどの方法でそこの会社を応募して、例えば転職だなとか、転職のサイトはえっと、外国人にとしてちょっと難